Live from Madison, this is Fox 47 News at 9, Madison's choice for local news. Good evening and thanks for having us in. We're continuing our coverage from Rockford, Illinois, where the Rockford community is mourning after a man went on a deadly stabbing spree yesterday afternoon. Four people were killed in the attacks and several others were injured. The four people killed have been identified tonight as 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb, 23-year-old Jacob Schupach, 49-year-old Jay Larson, and 63-year-old Ramona Schupach. Authorities arrested 22-year-old Christian Soto. He's been charged with several counts of murder and attempted murder. He made his initial appearance in court today where authorities gave us more information about what exactly happened during that 20-minute rampage. And the, here's a warning, the details are graphic. Police say it started when Soto went to a friend's house to smoke marijuana. Soto told police he believes it was laced, which caused him to be paranoid. It was then he told police he stabbed his friend, 23-year-old Jacob Schupach, and 63-year-old Ramona Schupach, to death in the house. Police say he then attacked a mail carrier, 49-year-old Jay Larson, in the front lawn of a neighbor's house. He then broke into two other homes, injuring the residents of one house with a knife. In another home, he attacked three teenage girls with a bat, beating one of them, 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb, to death. When you think about these four, they were doing what we all do, what you should all be doing. It's spring break. You have three girls watching a movie. I can't even comprehend that. All this ended after a good Samaritan stepped in after he drove by while Soto was attacking yet another woman on the street. He stopped to intervene, and Soto began to attack him with a knife also causing multiple injuries. Soto entered Keith Fernie's Jeep in an attempt to steal it. Fernie pulled Christian Soto from the Jeep, but again was being attacked with a knife. It was at this time the police arrived and took Soto into custody. Soto made his initial appearance in court today, but no bond decision has been made yet. He's expected back in court early next week.